Hi guys, Rick Damoth at Cowtown USA. You know we talk about these, uh, the difference in how trailers are built. I'm gonna, I've got one in the shop here. It's not just according to this brand, but I want to show you according to how this type trailer, and I'm going to say this type trailer is built, and I want to show you the difference why we do what we do. This trailer would normally not have this band. We're talking about trailers that are, are uh, how would you say this, rolled steel. This piece runs up all the way down here and underneath. Okay, that's the way this trailer was built to, to, to go with. Now, what they've done is they've come and they've, they've added on, you see the little tack welds here. Instead of being continuously welded, it's just, it's just tack welded in repair. And they've put a two by, probably two by four angle. The mistake they made in the repair of this is they put the two inch lip here. They should have put the four inch with the two underneath it or they should have put, really it should have been three by five. Five to here, and then and then three underneath, and that would have, that would have helped this trailer quite a bit. But I'm gonna show you in here, I'm gonna take you inside, and I'm gonna show you what this thing looks like on the inside of this, and, and just show you, or I guess prove to you what I'm talking about is right. Inside the trailer, and I wanna show you the difference. Now this trailer's a 99, so it's getting long toothed. But guys, I've had trailers that we've sprayed a rubber lining in before there was ever a cow or, or an animal in it. A lot older than this and no rust through. And I want to show you the difference in, in the framework here. Okay, if you come here, this is the original frame. The one piece from here down. Rolled underneath the trailer and come out. This is part of the original frame. I told you the difference in roll metal we talked about that in the other videos and trailer comparisons. Okay, this is part of the original frame. This is the roll metal. This is metal that they scabbed underneath it. This is still part of the original frame too. This trailer's already been repaired once. They've, they've come underneath and put the metal here and the metal here. And to be done right, you probably should have cut it all out and then come in with a with a three by five angle iron angle iron, not rolled steel, but angle iron, and plated this. Well, instead, they just come underneath it, run this out here, and capped it. In fact, they've actually got two caps underneath it, and this is angle iron. It lasts a lot longer than what, uh, than what rolled metal will run. Now, now if they, if they would have, before this trailer was built, even if this was the one-piece deal, like starting from right here and down, and comes out one piece, if they would have shot this with rubber before the metal was put on it, it would have added years to the life of this trailer. That's, that's the big difference. Now I've talked to you about iron, how much better iron lasts than roll metal. But I can tell you, even, even raw iron, that manure and that urine is so strong that it'll eat it up. Okay. Our trailers have this big iron across it, the Winchester Star does. But you can see, even with that, the manure and the urine ate this trailer up. Okay, now, the advantage ours will have is all this and all this is sprayed with the rubber before the floor's ever put in it. So there's a, there's a huge advantage to it. You paint it, you primer it, then you shoot the rubber over the top of it, and, and if the manure and urine can't get excuse me, can't get to it, it won't eat it up. And I'm not knocking this brand trailer. I'm saying any trailer built with a one-piece frame is, is subject to this. And, and this is what I'm showing you. I mean, it's here to put a floor in it, and we're going to put a floor in it. Uh, but, I mean, it's, it's already seriously, seriously, seriously damaged. We're going to have to do some, we're going to spend some major money on this trailer to repair it. But you come right here, and you can see this cross member. I mean, guys, I'm not playing jokes with you. This is, this is exactly how it works. This is what's underneath your trailer. Now, you remember me talking to you also in the video about our, our uh, supports running lengthways and the difference in the angle in the channel, a two-inch angle or a three-inch channel. There's a huge difference. And I'll, I'll show you. This trailer here is, a two, is our two-inch angles. Uh, 
you can actually see my weight on this. I can spring this. And then, and then when you come back here, you'll actually see this channel where it's actually broken to through here. See how the back end of this is all rotted out? See, if, if this was sprayed with that rubber before the floor was put in, guys, you've got, this is a 99. It's already been repaired once, and you can see it needs serious repair again. If they would have shot this stuff, three inch channel instead of angle, and then sprayed everything with rubber, the life of this trailer would have lasted my gosh, you take a trailer from a 10 year to a 20 year, from a 20 year to a 30 year trailer. In fact, I had a guy in Texas uh, talk to me the other day, and he said they built a trailer. Uh, sounded like me, they, had, they probably had it built. Uh, they built it just like the Winchester Star was built without the spray and rub. It was 50 years old. This was a Texas trailer. And you know, I, I'm just telling you, there is a difference in trailers. You, you got to see this, you got to look at it, you got to understand it, and I'm going to have people say, well, they never cleaned it. I don't know that they did or not. It's a pretty old trailer. It don't look like it's had a very good life, but I don't know that. I can see it's had repairs uh, at least once, maybe at least twice, and it's just a 99 trailer. I mean, I've got guys pulling trailers that are way older than 99 that, that are not rusted through like this trailer is. The difference being... It wasn't even good as, it was not, in fact, it was a calico trailer. I'll just tell you, it wasn't near this heavy built, but it was sprayed with that rubber lining that we're talking about uh, and added, I mean, in comparison trailers, it's way better shape. This is rusted all over and been repaired. That calico trailer doesn't have a pinhole in it, and it's never been repaired. So there's a difference. So I suggest that you go back, if you want to spend your money, or if you want to buy a name, it's up to you. If you want to buy a name, then go ahead and buy a name. If you want to buy a better built trailer, go back and look at that trailer comparison and then spend your money the way you want to spend it. But I can tell you this rust and corrosion don't give a darn what's stuck, what that letter, name is stuck up on that neck. They're going to do their best to own your trailer. Thank you.